Good morning everyone, the sun starts coming up earlier these days. With it getting light so early in the morning, while well, the rest of the family lie in a bit, so it would be good just to pop down to the store and see what's going on. It's always nice to come in and at least get an hour and a half or so work done and then uh, go back and have breakfast at home. It's always nice staying close to the store here and just nip home quickly for things like that. A few of the older customers coming in the morning just to uh, do their groceries before uh, there were a lot of people around. Early morning pies and chickens so that it's ready for six o'clock. Sometimes during the day it gets so busy it's difficult to clean and uh, at night it's always a, it's a good opportunity just to do a bit of uh, deep cleaning I would imagine. And at night as well with less going on it's a good opportunity to just check the cameras. So we look for things like uh, cashiers giving family and friends discounts <laughs> where every second item gets scanned through the toll. Uh, we pick up uh, if there's if we've missed any shoplifters and, and things like that so we know syndicates to look out for um, and then we can uh, obviously take the appropriate course of action because uh, those guys tend to come back so a lot of work gets done at night behind the scenes from a security perspective um, on daytime footage it's still so quiet here in the morning Odd delivery truck and the odd taxi on the road. Often question why we stay open 24 hours, but I think it is the right thing to do. A lot of emergency services come off shift in the middle of the night. Then of course we also selfish interest, like we want our bakery to be uh, 24 hours and we want our daily production to be 24 hours. So yeah, it has its advantages as well. Try finding the time to do a deep clean in the bakery during the day. It would be an impossible task. It always amazes me to see how many times a day this gets full. But they did this production last night. Better get home and uh, wake the family up and I should get showered and dressed and back to work. But I got some uh, croissants. Gonna put them in the oven. Croissants on cheese for breakfast. Life is good. It feels like we're playing hide and go seek because uh, Kasatu have got uh, protests all over the place and uh, blocking roads off. So as one roadblock happens we detour through to another route to try and make it through to our next appointment which is quite uh, yeah, challenging. challenging. Challengingly. Very challenging. Yeah, so uh, I'm glad that we just, uh, that, that we live a few minutes from work and our world has shrunk and that we very rarely have very to go grateful. out sure. but uh, this one they wouldn't do over Microsoft Teams so we're stuck having to actually travel
then an intense screening, DNA samples, swabs. We still up there, Lee. Take 54, Lee. <laughs> We've got uh, Karma Marketing doing a video for us. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> we've had, we've had all the professionals here. We've had uh, Stephen Jock from Optics. Ebon Optics and now Karma Marketing. Uh, Karma's cheaper though. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Jock have very reasonable rates. But uh, you know, when you, when you can pay somebody with food and lodging and the threats of a hiding, it's a good thing. <laughs> Hey, look who we have here, <laughs> Tony. Where did you get your from? Uh, local. Oh, okay. Take your mask off for me so that uh, it's so impersonal. I'll keep my distance. At least I've got my mask on you. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> for those, I've asked him to take his mask on because if, off, if, because if ever you're in Cape Town at Liquor City Claremont. And now Constantia. And now Constantia. Wine and Crafts. Then, are, you making a, are you making an up market store there? Very much up market. Well, it's good that you came to visit us. I'm so humble. No, I've come to get ideas. I mean, <laughs> you're the master in the town, I believe. Thank you. But uh, all the people that are in the business tell me, hey, listen, I must go and visit Tony at Liquor City, Claremont, to see what he's up to because his range is just superb. And now you come to visit me. Because the, for the, of the same uh, story, you also want to come and see your age. <laughs> so you, you're down on holiday, just a week? Uh, just a week. I must get back to work because I have to open my new store. What's that address again? It's uh, 43 Gabriel Road, uh, Plumstead, next to the uh, Plumstead Pick and Pay. So if ever you in Cape Town and you love craft beer, love craft gins, and you whiskey. got a lot of whiskey, whiskey. Biggest range of whiskey in Cape Town. Oh. I'm definitely gonna come and visit you because I need ideas. <laughs> Check this, this is gonna be, I think we're gonna put whiskeys on this wall here. We're just waiting for the shelving to arrive. So I, I'm definitely gonna be picking your brain into the future. <laughs> Fantastic, and now that's why I come here to pick your brain to see what you've got here that we had done. Oh, I'm so honored. Thanks for the visit. And your pleasure. Good to see you. <laughs> What an honor to have Tony here. You do not understand, this guy's like a legend in, in, the, in, the, in the liquor fraternity. <laughs> this, is the big, this is the big problem I have because look at all this. We've got a chicken fillet special going at the moment. I don't know when you're going to see this video, but there's just not enough space. <laughs> I don't have enough cold room space to store the stock that I need to just to get through the weekend. <laughs> Crazy problem to have. Our 24 hour sign, the illumination went, it doesn't come on at night, it's not highlighted. So uh, I've got old Shamia trying to find out what's going on with our 24 hour sign. Can't be a 24 hour store and not have a 24 hour sign that actually comes on at night. <laughs> it's a problem. And look who we have here, the professionals. Uh, Belinda is from our distribution center. She's putting this all together, a massive campaign for Quick Spars. So go and have a look at all the Quick Spars uh, uh, Facebook pages and probably some Instagram links as well. Where, where are you from? Uh, I've got an Instagram page, at Muhammad Ali. At Muhammad Ali. You can't miss that, at Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Pop along to that. So you're in the photography game? Photography. Videography. Yeah. The future of the
Watch this space for more details coming up pretty soon. The two sisters are uh, going over their lines. As a retailer right now, this is my biggest challenge. Is that, for instance, we can't get, I don't know what's happened here. There's no, there's no uh, spur sources. Now, is there a manufacturer problem because of COVID? Can we get, has the code changed? Um, there are a lot of lines like, uh, that just, they aren't coming in. So, some of the Knorr range, some of the, uh, the spices, especially with uh, all the, what are these, uh, the Robinson spices. So there's been a rationalization of range or just the guys can't get the materials to over this time, COVID time to, to do a lot of their manufacture. So what do we do? Do we leave the shelf open, take these off and, and run the risk of losing that product line in our store? So uh, it's gonna be a nightmare. Closer to December, January, we're gonna have to do a whole category management exercise here, find out print data see which uh, which lines are actually in stock that we need to bring back that we don't lose lines because it's kind of hard for us to keep track of now there's so many lines going long term out of stock guys can't get product that we're just losing track when it, when it does come back it could be a good line for us to have um, but without the data we just don't know so yeah it's uh, shelf management category management is, is such an important role in retail but uh, to get it right right now over COVID times, it's uh, almost an impossible task. What a day, Lee. We better get home. <laughs> I'm quite excited for the future. Got some exciting things happening. Yeah, we start from next week. So sure, <laughs> clock is ticking. <laughs> Tonight's challenge is to see how many places we can fit in before curfew. Down to <laughs> Durban and back up to Hillcrest. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing, is still young. But Nigel is still young. I'm tired. <laughs> no, Lee. You're not that old, love. <laughs> we can't be that old. We're young at heart. Join me in the adventure. <laughs> First up, Origin Nightclub. In the dark. <laughs> Business, 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 business.